Buddy, Buddy's going to speak to you guys on professionalism. Thanks, you. No, no, I'm here. Hi, my name is uh, Buddy Barnes. Thank you all for coming. There's about 40 of you here. It's probably one of our largest uh, in, in season probably meetings. So thank you very much for coming. Appreciate your uh, interest in the program. Uh, one of the things that uh, has been mentioned by some of the uh, coaches, teams, uh, uh, players, is that uh, the referee has referred to them as dude or uh, <coughs> something of that nature. Hey, you. Hey, you. Um, coach is the proper way to address a coach. If you know their name, say coach or whatever. Shouldn't you know their name at the beginning of the game when you introduce yourself to them? Um, if you're an AR on the coach's side, um, just address them as coach. Okay. Don't address them as dude or hey you or a guy or whatever. It's very important that you, know, you are a professional. Uh, you're an independent contractor uh, working for PSA. Uh, you're representing them out there on the field. That's important to um, project an image of professionalism. Of all those people on the field, there's 22 players on the field, four or five on the bench for each team. There's two or three coaches, and there's you know maybe 30, 40 parents. Okay, the only people out there getting paid are the ones wearing the referee uniform. Okay. Everybody else is out there for fun, relaxation. Uh, get their kids a scholarship, whatever it might be. Okay? But you're the only one getting paid. Okay. At this level, on the record, you're the only one getting paid. Uh, so uh, you're the only professional out there. Make sure you are professional, even if they are not. And some of them won't be. Okay? But if you project professionalism, most of the time, that's what you'll get back. Most people refer to me as. Mr. Referee. Uh, referee's fine, but if they want to say Mr., that's fine too. I'm an old guy. Uh, and some people were taught to respect their elders. Some weren't. Uh, but anyway, any questions about professionalism, and what that means, and what the expectations are of people in the past profession?
I said, coaches, I don't know who the parent is, but somebody over there needs to calm down. I would suggest one of you go over there and address the parents. I won't do it. That's just me. So when you talk to them, they can use the use on the you, at, a, at a stoppage, at a goal kick, hold on, go talk to the coaches. Okay? Don't blow the whistle with a, with a drop ball restart or whatever. If the ball's out of bounds, hold on, go talk to the coaches, come back and restart. Yeah, you never voice a parent by yourself. Never. As far as I'm concerned, that's their one morning. And the, the next time it's the coaching. The distance that it takes you to stop where you're at and walk summarily over and talk to the coach, you have everybody else's attention anyway. If I stop the game, and I walk over to Jim, because he's the coach. They're all going, what's he doing? What's he doing? And he and I have a conversation between the two of us, and I'm telling you right now, if that paragraph is about for him, that's where you're going to be. Do you understand it? That's the one. <laughs> You've accomplished the same thing. You've kept it on a very professional basis, and you haven't caused a problem yourself. If you stop, and I have seen this happen with our beloved group here, not necessarily, but here and present. I, oh God, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I've actually seen referees that stop in the middle of the game. Games over here, and they're talking to of all things. A parent. You guys have just got through with the class. You ever seen a parent have a whole lot of knowledge about the game of soccer unless they grew up with it at their foot? You won't either. But they know it all because I think it has something to do with the Holiday Express story or something like that. That and their kids play. But if you, if you stoop to their level, our program will never rise to the occasion. Okay? Stop the game, talk to the coach. He's your charge, not the parents. Tell the coach, you see the guy in the purple shirt? The next time he talks to me, the next time he opens his mouth, you are in the parking lot, sir. Do you understand me? That requires a yes or no answer. He can't give you the wrong answer. Every situation is different. And you have to gauge your response by the size of the offense. If a parent drops an F bomb on the side of the uh, I personally I take care of it right then. Right then. You have to go. Probably not the right thing to do, but you know, if I have to it takes a long time to go about it, it just ramps up. That's that. <laughs> yes, sir. Not a problem. You've already said what you're going to do. Me and my crew are leaving. Yeah. I shall report this match to the league. We take so much from those who have nothing to say and then go home going, it's like the Aflac duck. <laughs> and when you get home and you look at yourself in the mirror, you go, gosh, I wish I'd have handled that differently. This league can't help you if you won't do the right thing. This league can't get that parent or that coach or those coaches or that club or that team in and talk to them if you don't let the club know or the, the, the PSA know that this situation is going on. <clears throat> Take it none of it. Deal with it accordingly. If you take it, again, you just got through with the class. Some of you are in your first season. Show me where it says, take it and hush. Okay? This doesn't happen. This is not a this is not a 80% a situation and a 20% good situation. It's about a one or a two percent bad situation, five or a six percent medium situation, and the rest of it is absolutely splendid. Don't get the wrong idea from these purveyors of, of anyway, we'll go into that next time. <laughs> Do the right thing. Put the ones forward that needs to be forward and go on about it. But if you don't deal with it and you don't deal with it on a professional basis, you yourself have no credibility. Coach, 
I'm here to officiate your game. I'm an arbiter. I am 50-50. I am not your side nor his side. But I can't do my job with somebody in my ear. Your players can't do their jobs with somebody on their tail. Deal with this parent or I shall deal with you, sir. In an appropriate professional manner. I think occasional things happen to see the threat to the 